Hey, Tom J. Back again for another episode of King of Craft Beer Reviews. Okay, so um, today, for your drinking pleasure, we have Brewery Armagang's Lovely Dark and Deep Oatmeal Stout. There we go. Lovely Dark and Deep. Interesting. I believe this is one of their newer offerings. I went to go look it up uh, on Beer Advocate and Rate Beer, and they don't even have it. I, Beer Advocate has it, but there's all, all blanks. It gives you no information on it. It's just that it's a 5.3 ABV for this beer. And um, that's it. It doesn't give you much else. Just that. Uh, it's really not even any ratings on it, so. Yeah, we're going to give this one a shot. Uh, this just had come in to the, uh, to the local buy right that I go to. As I walked in, they were delivering it. I saw it was a stout, an oatmeal stout, so of course, of course I had to jump on it. Uh, I, I don't know how many beers Armagang makes that aren't Belgian style. This is one of them, but they don't make many. So, I figured this would be something somewhat of a treat. All right, so we're going to get this, uh, this beer open. Get it into a glass. All right, I'm going to fairly aggressive on that. Got about a finger, a finger and a half of tan white head. It's got some nice carbonation clinging to the inside of the glass. Looks pretty dark. Let's get it up to the sunlight. Yeah, it's completely dark. I don't see any, anything coming through there whatsoever. Not even a tinge of any kind of light. Looks nice in the glass. Uh, all right, let's get the aroma. smell malts. I smell roasted malts. Maybe a little bit of chocolate. Not too big on the nose on this one. Yeah, uh, maybe a little bit of, maybe a little bit of hint of coffee. But for the most part, kind of a weak nose. It's not, uh, the aromas are not uh, wafting out of here. You really got to pull at it just to, just to get something out of it. See up in the light again. Now the sun's really coming out. Now it's still dark. Well, it's not always about the aroma. Sometimes I've had beers where the aroma was not present or not very good, and the beer was great. So let's give this a shot. Well, cheers, everybody. Mmm, that's very tasty. That's very good. Right up front, you're getting um, you're getting a sweetness, a nice sweetness. You're getting roasted malts, roasted malts out the butt here. Um, it gives it a very coffee-like, uh, somewhat bittersweet chocolate, but more like a coffee-like roasted roasted malt flavor yeah um it's very good it's not too sweet it's more on the um this beer is more on the bitter side it's uh it's nicely carbonated it's 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 actually uh it's actually pretty carbonated for a for a stout for a stout kind of a beer. Yeah. It's got a creamy mouthfeel. It's got a nice mouthfeel. Um getting a little vanilla in here. 
Um, I think that I think that this beer. One of its big qualities is its mouthfeel. You're getting a really nice creamy texture as it goes in. It's a little bit more carbonated than a lot of stouts that I'm used to having, but that's not a detraction. It actually adds to it because it really, it really circulates nicely in the, in the mouth, on the tongue, and as it's going down. It's the oatmeal, this is an oatmeal uh, stout, so it, the oatmeal tends to bring up the body of the beer. The beer itself is uh, medium, medium to medium heavy, and it's only a 5.3 beer, so, you know, usually you would, you would think you were going to get a little thinner of a, of a uh, mouthfeel, but it's not. It's pretty full, it's pretty full body, and I, I attribute that to the, uh, to the oats being added, because they always add a creaminess to the, uh, and a little bit of body to the beer. It's a good beer. Um, it's a little lacking complexity. It's kind of straight up. You're not getting layer upon layer of flavor. You're just predominantly getting a coffee-like, uh, a coffee-like flavor with a little bit of bittersweet chocolate, a little bit of vanilla in there. You're getting the roasted malts. And you get a little bitterness on the end. Uh, they did. They did add some hops in here because it is, it is a little bit bittering. Not not much, but a, a, a good a good amount on the end. All right. Yeah, good beer. Good beer. I'm gonna let this beer warm up a little bit in the glass. See what uh, see what the warmth does when the uh, temperature comes up on this a little bit. I want to see if it changes the flavor any. So with that, I'll be back with you in a little while with my verdict. Tom J back with the review of uh, Brewery Armageddon. This is the uh, lovely dark and deep oatmeal stout. All right, so I let it warm up somewhat. Um, some dark fruit started coming up. They started popping up in the, uh, in the flavor. Uh, except for that, the alcohol, well, there's, it's a pretty low ABV. It's 5.2, I believe, 5.3, but you can't taste it. Um, hides the alcohol well. You know, the flavors that came out as it got warmer, not too much more, just like I said, some dark fruits. For me, this is, um, it's, it's, it's not, it's, it's a, it's a B beer. It's a B beer. It's, um, it's lacking in some areas. It's not it's not really deep it's missing some complexity that doesn't go it doesn't go real deep it's it's a kind of like skin deep you're gonna get a couple of flavors right off the bat and really that's it it's 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 lacking a little and it's not horrible it's not a horrible brew it's just that I've had I've had stouts that uh, that this cannot compare to well with that being said it's gonna be time for a rating here I guess I'll give this, uh, I'm going to give this beer an 88. I'll give it an 88, yeah. Not horrible, pretty good. Not, not, uh, not outstanding. Just pretty good. And, uh, I mean, if you see it in a store, pick it up. It's, it's not, it's not bad little stout. It's just that, uh, you know, there's better out there. Anyway, this is uh, going to be Tom J. I'm going to be signing off. And uh, always remember to drink responsibly.